Namaste. Let's begin class laying down on our backs, bottoms of the feet together. Let the knees splay open like pages of a book. As you place one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart, and just feel the rise and fall of your breath as it naturally comes in and out of the body. As your body melts deeper into the yoga mat, tune into your breath. Find a giant inhale through your nose, sip it in, hold it at the top. Exhale, sigh it out. Your breath is a gift you were given today. And you can show gratitude for this gift by coming into the present moment and taking strong inhales and exhales throughout this practice. Inhale all the good, positive things that surround you. And exhale, letting go of what no longer serves you in the mind. Let this beautiful breath continue to take you inward in this journey today. Inhale when you're ready. Reach your arms up over your head and take a bend off to the right side so you're making a banana shape with the upper body. Keep the legs right where they are. Exhale completely. Inhale through center and exhale side bend off that left side. Feel the right side body lengthen and extend. Coming back through center, hands behind your head like a pillow. Start to amp up your breath. As you exhale, lift the shoulder blades up. Inhale, lay back down. And as you crunch up and exhale, inhale, open up. Take these crunches at your own breath and timing. Mouth closed now, finding that ocean-like sounding breath. In and out of the nose, audible breathing with a toning at the back of the throat. Ujjayi Pranayama. That's it. You're moving as fast or as slow as your breath will take you today. Listen to the sound of your strong breathing. Next, inhale, open your arms above your head and exhale, reach your fingertips forward, lift your shoulder blades off the mat and breathe into the abdomen. Continue to pulse right here as you take those strong inhales and exhales. Inhale, lengthen back out, arms overhead, exhale, hug the knees into your chest, rock side to side. Finding that same strength, rocking front to back, front to back now, all the way up onto your hands and knees for tabletop. Turbo table, curl the toes under, bring the knees up just an inch. On your inhale and exhale, gently place the knees back down. Inhale, hug the knees up. Exhale, place them back down. And as you breathe into your strong arms and abs and toes, find yourself in the present moment here, taking a few more rounds into your own body. Hold turbo table so the knees are hovering above the mat and breathe here, finding your strength. Nice 
nice work press into downward facing dog hips come high pedal through the knees lengthen through the spine shake out the head strong inhales and exhales peel your way open to plank pose shoulders in line with the wrist squeeze the elbows into the ribs as you lower all the way down inhale for cobra or up dog lift your heart exhale take a twist off your right shoulder inhale through center exhale twist off your left inhale through center let it feel good as you open up curl your toes under downward facing dog again mindfully lift your heels and then press them further towards the earth lengthening through the backs of the legs take at least three rounds of ujjayi pranayama that strong victorious breath and then come onto your tiptoes gaze forward step or float your feet up to your hands inhale for length exhale pull your heart towards your thighs inhale reach your arms all the way up to the sky find some space in the ribs Exhale, clasp your hands back behind your hips. Inhale, lift your heart a little further. Exhale, forward fold. Continue to pull your arms away from the low back for a nice shoulder stretch. Inhale, release. Exhale, plant your hands. Step it back to plank pose. On or off the knees as you squeeze the elbows, low push up. Inhale, up dog. Lift your heart. Exhale, hips high. Downward facing dog twisting take your left arm up to the sky bend into the right knee plant your left hand down inhale right arm peels up left knee bends exhale downward facing dog remember you can take this first flow as fast or as slow as your breath will take you today for now come onto the tiptoes to start again gaze forward step or float your feet up inhale lengthen through the fingertips exhale pull your heart closer to your thighs inhale reach your arms up exhale clasp your hands behind your back open up the chest exhale fold in release plant your hands low push-up chaturanga on your next exhale inhale lifting for up dog exhale hips high Take a few breaths right here and then start to peel open. Left arm and then right. After these twists, press the heels towards the earth. Few breaths and then as many times as you need to take this flow to warm up the body, start again. Forward fold at the top of the mat. Inhale, reach your arms up exhale shoulder stretch dive in take it from here adding in what feels good for you taking out what doesn't serve you in the body keep in those downward facing dog twists that feels right left arm peels open and then the right continue to flow the breath and flow this movement at your own pace Take one more round top to bottom and I'll meet you in Utkatasana chair pose at the top of your mat.
When you're ready, find Utkatasana Chair Pose. Sink your hips low. Inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, wide arm twist to the right. Gaze off your back hand. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist off the left. Inhale through center. Stand all the way up. Plant your palms together behind your neck. Bend the elbows, stretching out the arms. Inhale, reach the fingertips up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen into a yoga squat. Palms together, hips low. Elbows pressing into the thighs. You can stay right here or play into the hands for a Bakasana crow pose balance. One toe lifts, maybe both feet. Then shoot the feet back to plank pose, low push-up chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Inhale, peel the right leg back behind you and notice it. Exhale, fire hydrant pose. Take the right foot off to the right side as if you're planting the bottom of the foot against the right wall. Inhale, lift it back up behind you. Exhale, squeeze it and need a nose kiss. Inhale, lift the right leg back up. Step it forward for warrior A. Root your back heel, inhale, both arms to the sky, shoulders down. Hands at heart center, prayer twist. Hook the left elbow outside the right thigh. Root deep through the feet as you lengthen through the chest. Gaze up past that right shoulder. Then inhale your way through to sky archer. Pull the right wrist overhead, stretch through both knees, turn the right toes out, left toes in. Arms to a T, Utita Trikonasana, triangle pose. Reach out and over the hip, arms straight, energy fingertip to fingertip. Right fingertips down, left arm peels up. Continue to breathe. Exhale, final pose in this flow, reverse warrior. Lunge deep, right arm overhead, left arm wraps behind your back. Exhale, vinyasa, windmill the hands back down to plank, low push-up. Inhale, up dog, exhale, downward facing dog, trying it all on the left side. Inhale, sweep the left leg up. Exhale, flatten the foot, take it out for fire hydrant pose. Inhale, lift back up one-legged down dog. Exhale, squeeze it in, knee towards nose. Inhale, lift. Use that same energy to step forward. Warrior A on the left side. Square your hips forward with the mind. Energy through the fingertips. Exhale, prayer twist. Hook the right elbow this time outside the left thigh. Finding balance even though we're on both feet. Stretch through the knees, sky archer. Pull the left wrist overhead. Left toes out, right toes in. Arms to a T, triangle pose. Out and over the left hip. Reach with the fingertips, chest facing the side of the room. Continue to pull up and lengthen through the top of the head. Inhale, reverse warrior. Lunge deep, left arm up, right arm wraps. Breathe into the side body. Exhale, vinyasa. Flow your way through. Take as many breaths as you need in downward facing dog as you find that same energy to start again in chair pose at the top of the mat. Inhale, gaze forward, exhale, fold in deep. Inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, sink your hips low. Chair pose, twist. I'll guide you through this final round with me. Inhale through center, exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, stand all the way up, palms together, bend the elbows, stretch out the arms. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, come into yoga squat, bakasana crow pose, or take those out completely. Press through your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Exhale, fire hydrant. Inhale, one-legged down dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step through, warrior A. Inhale, reach the arms up, lunge deep. Exhale, prayer twist. Inhale, sky archer. 
exhale triangle pose. Inhale, reverse warrior, lunge again, right arm up. Exhale, guide both arms down, vinyasa. Inhale, left leg. Exhale, fire hydrant. Inhale, one-legged down dog. Exhale, squeeze knee to nose. Inhale, lift, step it forward, warrior A. Exhale, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, prayer twist. Inhale, sky archer. Exhale, triangle pose. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, vinyasa. Follow your way through chaturanga, up dog to down dog. Take as many breaths as you need in each pose. And when you're ready, start at chair pose, top of the mat once again, keeping in those twists. Sink your hips low, reach your arms up. Use that strong breath and take this flow on your own letting the sweat start to drip. Use the strength of your breath to heat up the body from the inside out. You can continue to flow as many more rounds as you need, but when you're ready, make your way into Navasana Boat Pose. Arms and legs reach 45 degrees. Take your time to get there and utilize your breath.
this is my final posture for this flow. Some of you are going to still flow and that's okay. Some of you are already in boat pose. Good for you. Make your way there, jumping through to seated on your next exhale. Inhale, reach your arms and legs up. Float right here. Use the breath, spine nice and long, energy out the top of your head, strengthening your abs. Floating from this top boat to lowering halfway back, bottom of the boat, reach through the fingertips and toes, inhale back up to the top. Exhale, lower down halfway again. Inhale, reach back up to the top of your boat. You're still breathing. Lower down, halfway lengthen. Remember the breath is all you need. Come back up to the top. You can take this challenge a few more rounds. Low boat, lengthen. Inhale, back to the top. Reach that energy. Lower down. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, lower down halfway right here. Use that breath. Inhale to the top of the boat. You are so much stronger than you think you are. Float right here, lower down halfway. Lay all the way back when you're ready. Find gratitude for those healthy lungs as you inhale the knees into your chest and rock side to side, massaging the spine. Extending the legs straight, find outsides of the feet with your hands for a happy baby. Continue to pull the knees into the ribs. If you can stretch through the knees and open up further, go ahead and find that V. And then come back through center, bring the knees back into the chest. Rock front to back, front to back. Find the momentum all the way back up into boat pose. This time, piece fingers bind to big toes. Exhale, splay the legs wide again, find the V balance. Inhale, bring the legs back together and roll all the way back to stick the landing in your boat pose again. Good, use those abs, have fun with it. Roll back on your exhale, inhale, stick it up into boat pose and take a few rounds just like this, playing with that landing right up into boat pose, finding the strength in your breath. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I sure feel like a kid again. We can have fun, it's just yoga. When you're ready, relax all the way down onto your back. Reach the arms overhead on your inhale. Exhale, hug your legs in. Inhale, plant your feet down, lift your hips up for bridge pose, stretching out the midline. You can always clasp your hands under the body for a nice shoulder stretch, energy through the feet. If you'd like to go further, plant your hands by your ears to lift all the way up, playing with a deeper back bend. It's just an option. If not, you're staying in bridge pose, breathing fluid. Wherever you are, lower down one vertebrae at a time. Bring the knees back in and rock front to back, front to back, finding that momentum all the way up and through into plank pose. Hands and toes nice and strong. From there, come onto the forearms, forearm plank. Inch the toes up towards your face. So walking the feet towards the head, lift your hips up for dolphin pose. We'll play with inversions here. So if you can, just lift the right leg up to the sky and breathe into the backside body, strengthening the shoulders and the abs. If you have a forearm or a headstand practice, you're welcome to play with it here. Otherwise, we'll try the other leg. Gently bring the right foot down and float the left leg up to the sky. Maybe one day, eventually that bottom leg will meet the top. But for now, let's breathe and find strength here. Slowly lower down, we'll all meet in child's pose. Pay close attention to those inhales and exhales again. We're coming into our final flow for this practice. When you're ready, 
downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the right leg to the sky. Exhale, squeeze the right knee to the right elbow. You might climb on board for an arm balance later. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, step it forward, crescent warrior. Lunge deep on the back toe. Inhale, both arms to the sky. Palms might even come together overhead. Exhale, half moon balance. Right fingertips to the right corner of the mat. Left arm, left leg, float up. You can always grab onto a block here. Change hands. On your exhale, left hand down. Inhale, right arm up. The left leg still in the sky. Squeeze knee behind knee. Curtsy twist like a speed skater. You can even bring the hands together at prayer for a balance. Get the hips nice and low, spine long. Sit all the way down for a great seated spinal twist. Inhale, lift the left arm, hook it over the right thigh. Plant your right hand back behind you like a kickstand. Exhale, gaze over the back shoulder. Inhale, gaze forward. Plant your hands to the front of the mat. Lower down through vinyasa. From down dog, trying it all on the left side. Inhale, sweep the left leg up, squeeze it towards the left elbow. Inhale, lift, step it forward, crescent warrior on this left side. Exhale, half moon balance. Reach the left fingertips down, right arm, right leg float up. This is where we changed hands. Right hand down, left arm sweeps up. Nice and controlled with the breath. Curtsy twist. Bend knee behind knee. Get nice and low. Palms come together or stay there with the arms. Sit all the way down. Spine long. Take a twist. So good for the digestive system. Hook the right elbow this time outside the left knee. Gaze off the back left shoulder. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, vinyasa. Coming into our second little round out of this three-course meal. Inhale, right leg. Lifts, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, lift, crescent warrior. Both arms up. Exhale, half moon, right hand down, left arm, left leg extend. You're starting to memorize these postures. Changing hands curtsy twist sit all the way down spinal twist continue to flow reaching back behind you opening up the chest come through and forward to star pose nice and wide stance side squat into the back hip so left hip down right toes lift hands at heart center continue towards the back of the mat into dragonfly twist Right hand down, left arm peels up. From there, we'll step into the left foot for airplane balance. Arms to the side, wings out in front of you or palms to heart center. You choose. Take your vinyasa. Downward facing dog. Whenever we're at the back of the mat, left leg lifts first. Inhale, left side. Exhale, squeeze forward. Inhale, lift, step it forward, crescent warrior. Exhale, half moon on this side, left hand down, right arm, right leg lifts. Plant the right hand down, twist the left arm up, curtsy, squeeze knee behind knee, get nice and low. Find your focus, sit all the way down, and hook the right elbow outside the left knee. Try to stand all the way up now with this transition without touching the ground. Hands at heart center, side squat into the right hip, left toes lift. Continue towards the front of the mat, dragonfly twist. Left hand down, right arm up. Float into airplane balance when you're ready. Spine nice and long. Gaze off the tip of the nose. Vinyasa. <sighs> Final round together. Inhale, right leg lifts. You got this. Exhale, squeeze it into the right elbow. Inhale, lift, crescent warrior. You already know where you're going, so lead the way. Half moon. Change. 
change hands curtsy twist. Spinal twist, left elbow hook, spine nice and long. Stand all the way up, side squat, back of the mat. Right toes lift, drag and fly twist, continue to flow that way. Left arm up, gaze down, step into it, take flight for airplane. This is where we'll add on. Bring the right knee out in front of you for dancing Shiva. Left hand to the right knee or right foot. Gaze off the back right hand for a standing twist. And then take the right hand back behind you to the right foot. Left arm out in front of you. Dancer, kick into the palm here. And you can take whatever pose next that feels right for you. I'll find standing splits. Maybe you hop into a handstand. Find your vinyasa. Plank pose, chaturanga low push up. Inhale up dog, exhale down dog. Inhale left leg, last time together. And then this is all yours to play with. Take your squeezer, I'll meet you in crescent warrior. Half moon. Change hands, curtsy twist. Seated spinal twist, right elbow outside left knee. Star pose, side squat into the right hip, dragonfly twist. Airplane balance. Dancing Shiva, right hand to left knee or left foot. Reach the left arm back behind you. Gaze can even follow the back hand. Dancer from here, left hand to left foot, right arm out in front of you, heart parallel to the front of your mat. Standing splits from here, forehead towards the shin, leg to the sky, or whatever feels good for you. Take your vinyasa. Remember, you can add in poses that feel right, take out what doesn't serve you, and continue flowing through the right side at your own pace. Remember to use your breath. And just have fun linking breath and movement here in your own flowing dance. Now you can take this flow as many more times as you need. But I'm going to go into pigeon pose on the right side after a few more postures. Meet me there when you're ready. For pigeon pose, right shin threads forward, parallel to the front of your yoga mat, left leg extends back behind you. Inhale, take a lift. Maybe you even find a bind with the back foot, whatever that means for you. And then lay all the way down over the front shin, release into that hip and continue to flow the breath as you find stillness after all that chaos, all that movement feeling the heartbeat, 
noticing the breath again. It feels so good to find the yin within the yang and release the breath into some slower movement. Notice if the back toe is propped up or you're on your forearms. See if you can release both ends of the body and relax deeper into the mat as you let gravity take hold. On your next inhale, slowly make your way up to change sides. That can transition through downward facing dog if that feels good to you. Or come onto your back for pigeon if you know this is not right for your knee. You can hook a heel over thigh and do the same thing on your back for reclined. But forward, take a lift, reach for the bind if that's an option for you. Anything goes as you open up the quad, that left hip, and fold over the front shin, letting go with every exhale. Inhale, slowly come up, press your way into downward facing dog, and come onto your hands and knees for tabletop. Threading the needle, inhale, peel the left arm up to the sky, exhale, thread it through between the right palm and the right knee. Come all the way down into the left cheek. You have a few options here. You can keep the right hand down, or you can wrap the right hand behind your back. Going even further for a balance, you can lift your right leg. Lower that leg if it's up, untwist, unwind. Peel the left arm back up and find tabletop. Going for the right side now, inhale, right arm reaches, exhale, thread it through and find whatever option works for you on this side. Coming down, unwind on this side, peel the right arm back up to the sky, exhale tabletop. Take some cat-cow poses coming back to that Ujjayi Pranayama victorious breath. Inhale, dropping the belly, exhale, curling the spine. You've got the strength. A couple more challenging postures to go. Turbo table, curl the toes under, bring the knees up an inch, just like we did at the start of practice. Hug the low belly tight as you lift the right knee and squeeze the right knee towards the right elbow. Deep breaths here. As challenging as it may be, let your body feel the burn and find some sort of positive light within this challenge. Step the right toe back and squeeze the left knee in towards the left elbow. You only have this side to go. You can do anything for just a few breaths. You can stand in a line at Costco. You can sit in traffic. You can get through this knee squeezer with another inhale and exhale. <sighs> nice work. Step it back, downward facing dog. I think we're recharged and ready. Lift the right leg, step it forward. Come into extended side angle pose. Right forearm to the right thigh, swim the left arm up and over the ear towards the front of your yoga mat. You can take the right hand all the way down inside or outside the right foot, 
or find a bind, left hand behind your back, right arm underneath the belly of the right thigh. If you want to go for an even further challenge here, utilizing the breath, take your left piece fingers to your right big toes and find compass pose as you press into the right palm. Go ahead, float the right foot up. Just options. If not, you're staying in extended side angle pose. From there, stand all the way up for Buddha squat. Press through the feet energy as you come all the way up into a T. Toes out, heels in, Buddha squat. Sink your hips low. Arms can be up, down, or at heart center, wherever they may be. Breathe into the thighs, into the heels. Feel that earth energy. Make this Buddha squat yours. Inhale, stretch through the knees. Exhale, forward fold over wide legs. Palms can press into the yoga mat or you can reach for the ankles. If the crown of the head touches the mat, you can always float your legs up for a headstand if that's in your practice. Take any variation of forward fold that feels right for you for the next three breaths. Lower your legs if they're up. Mindfully release any armed bind and walk your arms to the front of the mat. Plant your hands, come through to downward facing dog, finding the left leg. Inhale, reach it back. Exhale, step it forward, extended side angle on this side. Remember the variation choices. You can come into forearm to the thigh, hand down inside the foot, or bind right arm behind your back, left arm underneath the belly of the left thigh. Fingertips can touch behind you. Peel the right shoulder back. Remember, you can take compass pose too. For that challenge, right piece fingers come to left big toe and you lift the left foot up on this side. Breathe into whatever variation you chose. Inhale, open all the way up, toes out, heels in, final Buddha squat. Yes, you can curl the sides of your lips up and find a smile on your face to get through this posture. You have so much strength. For a deeper challenge, float the heels up, feel yourself shake and grow. Inhale, stand all the way up, back bend. Exhale, forward fold and take a forward fold variation of your choice. So you can grab the ankles, clasp your hands behind your back for a shoulder stretch or take that headstand again if it's in your practice. Mindfully release the bind and walk your hands to the front of the mat where you're slowly come through to any transition into seated. Extend the right leg straight, bring the left foot inside the right thigh and splay the left knee open. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, forward fold, reaching for toes, ankles, shins, whatever you can find and let your heart melt closer to your right knee as we take a couple yin postures, utilizing the breath as you start to take full control of those inhales and exhales. Inhale, sitting up, bend the right heel towards the right hip. Keep the left knee right where it's at and slowly crawl your way back with your hands either extending all the way down onto your back or staying on your forearms and opening up the heart. Breathing into the front quad, you can find a stretch in the back and the thighs. Deep breaths here.
breathing some movement back into the body slowly make your way up extend your legs straight and change sides first extending the left leg straight right foot inside the left thigh as we did before splay the right knee open inhale reach your arms up exhale up and over the left leg reach for the stretch Breathe in all that goodness, exhaling relief. Inhale, sitting up, left heel comes back towards the left hip and consciously come back all the way down onto your back or staying on your forearms and opening up your heart. In these longer holding stretching postures remember to use the breath just as strong as you use them in your strength postures because these poses can be just as hard as a buddha squat or a push-up as you open yourself up inhale press your way up Extend your legs out in front of you and together. Inhale, reach your arms up and your fingertips forward as you lay all the way onto your back. Inhale, knees into the chest. Let them fall off to the right. Arms to a T, chin off the opposite shoulder. Spinal twist. Inhale, let your knees float back through center and change sides. Gaze off the opposite elbow. Let your knees sink into the earth as you find opposition and release in the spine. As we come to the end of this practice, I hope you remember you can get through any challenge that comes your way when you focus on your inhales and exhales. We can get through anything with one breath at a time. Inhale, knees through center. Exhale, extend your legs down, arms by your sides, eyelids heavy, relaxing the body, the mind, and the breath. Shavasana. Take rest. If you're home and you'd like to stay in Shavasana longer, go for it. But if you're ready to close your practice, start to put movement into the wrists, the fingertips, the toes, massage the head from side to side. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, hug the knees in. 
make your way into a comfortable seated position however it feels right for you spine is long palms to heart center finding gratitude for this incredible body strength and breath we woke up with today namaste